It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's nominee for the City Manager's Award of Excellence from the Parks and Recreation Department is Jan Cox. Since being promoted to the Community Program Manager in 2005, Jan has gone above and beyond her daily responsibilities to help better the Greenville community. Ms. Cox oversees the daily operations and if there are any resources that we may need, we let our directors know and they go to her and she helps us get those things. She's in and out of the different community centers to see what's going on. Anything that I've asked her for and anything that we need, she's been more than willing to, to get for us, especially those up-to-date and current resources that are used in the schools and she, she helps bring them into the community centers. This is one of our, our newest computer labs. We have uh, computer labs at each of our community centers. Uh, in about 20 minutes, it will be packed of kids. We have several websites. The kids come and do educational learning. We have a teacher, a computer teacher, that will, will tell them how to log on. Also, we have people from the community that come in here during the weekday and use our computers. Jan is my supervisor, and she makes sure that uh, we have all of our equipment, all of our programs, any help we need in getting a program, maintaining a program, or running a program. She's that support that we have. Uh, and she's a good supervisor. I plan and get all the resources for the summer program, but on a hundred degree day, I can go out there and shoot water guns at the kids. <laughs> the kids shoot me with the water guns. So that's um, very rewarding from the job, just to see so many kids enjoy um, being in our care, and the kids are very appreciative of everything we do. A lot of our kids do have um, one parent family, and most of the, and usually the parent is working, and they do need the child care, and they need the. Um, help with the homework assistance. So we feel like we're an integral part in stepping up and educating these kids. We're, we're with the kids more than the most teachers are. So we are a very important, um, I guess, role model. Um, our existence is important to the kids. Ms. Cox does have a heart for the children. Even on the night at like 7 o'clock or even later on a Friday evening, she attended the talent show that was put on to see some of the children that don't get the opportunity to perform on stage or don't get the opportunity to see live production. Ms. Cox took time out of her schedule to come on a Friday night to do things like that. And she just embraces not only the children, but also the staff members. I, I had the honor of sponsoring Jan as a member into the Pleasantburg Rotary Club uh, over three years ago and it has been a real pleasure to work with Jan. Most importantly her love of children has come forth when we began a mentoring program at East North Street and Jan again was one of the first members in our club to say yes I will go once a week and mentor a young child at East North Street. Jan has been just a real special person in the Pleasantburg Rotary Club and of course I'm especially proud of her because as a retired Parks and Rec director it's always nice to see someone in the field so devoted to the community and to children. One thing that I am still proud of, I graduated high school in 1983 and I was a Pac-Man champion. I fell in love with Pac-Man and I probably hadn't played any other uh, video game since. <laughs> I don't meet too many famous persons here in Greenville, but the closest I got, I got to look out my back window of my sixth floor city hall office and I got to see 
George Clooney go into the Poinsett Weston. I had my binoculars sitting on my desk and when somebody said George Clooney, I looked out, the, out my window at uh, George Clooney with my binoculars. If there was a movie of me, I would love for it to be Carol Burnett because I could just look at her and laugh. I am thankful for my health. Um, a lot of people take their health for granted. I'm also thankful for my family that I have and friends, family and friends. I could, I could not imagine life without family and friends. Janice made Greenville community a better place and through her work with the Youth Collaboration Task Force, Jan will continue to help strengthen families and improve the outcome for children and youth in the city of Greenville.